Hey guys, this is Chase from KC Water Heaters. I'm gonna walk you through a water heater that we replaced that was 39 years old. Now, on top of that, the incoming water pressure for the house was 125 PSI. Now, the max pressure that you should have in the house is about 80 pounds. Uh, the vent on this is something that we didn't have to replace, but you should never put screws in double wall venting unless it's on the seams itself. So. To control the water pressure, we installed a regulator, and then we also put this expansion tank on. The expansion tank has to be inflated to match the incoming water pressure, and if your water pressure is not in control, then the expansion tank isn't really gonna last. So we also got these new brackets from Suit Chief that uh, we really like uh, to help mount those expansion tanks uh, because when they fail, they get really heavy. Uh, so in taking apart this water heater, uh, we've seen a lot of these American units that were 30, uh, 35 years old and a lot of them were replaced just because of the age and not necessarily because they had failed. Now the average lifespan in our area for water heaters is about 15 to 18 years. So um, considering the pressure being as high as what it was for this area, this tank really held up pretty darn well. So I made some changes to the gas line. I turned the gas off out at the meter and reposition the shutoff to the gas supply for the water heater and that's so that the shutoff to the gas was before the sediment trap to the water heater. Uh, we'll cut back to the gas line here and zoom in so you can see those connections. Uh, the connections that we make here are all solid copper. Um, I know certain areas will have seismic issues but um, we can have pretty good luck with soldering everything and then this bracket now that we from Sioux Chief uh, mounting that to the tank itself and it has nylon straps to secure it to the water heater itself. Now that's a two gallon thermal expansion tank. If you have really extreme uh, water pressure or if you have uh, a tank that you're heating to a really high temperature or if you have more than one water heater you want the larger four gallon thermal expansion tank. Um, we also use the Viega brass female adapter, both on top of the water heater and on the thermal expansion tank. Uh, the brass to steel connection would create slightly less uh, electrolysis than uh, using a copper fitting. Uh, the connections we're using here are all ProPress. Uh, we've been using ProPress for the last uh, probably six or seven years rather than soldering and we really don't miss soldering. This is a chemical free process. And it's more expensive for the fittings, the tools are really expensive, but uh, it goes a little bit quicker and there's actually a little bit less likelihood that you're gonna have a leak. So um, in regards to the expansion tank, there's a lot of requirements and how they need to be installed. And so if you're putting an expansion tank on, which you, you definitely need to if you have a closed loop system, uh, you should try to mount it in the upright position. A study was done by Backstop to prove that they last longer when they're in the upright position. Otherwise, you might be more likely to have a hole burn through the bladder. Uh, other requirements are if you can get it between the shutoff for the water heater and the inlet for the water heater, that would be ideal. Uh, and then also uh, having it supported by something other than the pipe itself is also important. Uh, so now I'm switching over to the gas line here. So. When we're, when we're doing the gas line, we're pretty much always going back with new, uh, a new union and new nipples. Uh, we don't like to reuse the half inch gas unions because a lot of plumbers will put pipe dope on there and sometimes that will dry and prevent us from making another good connection. Uh, there was just a little bit of air that I bled through the line after turning gas back on and now I'm lighting the pilot as I'm cleaning everything up. Uh, you want to keep that button pressed in until the uh, light starts to flash to let you know that you have your pilot lit. Um, from that point, uh, our, our next step here is to label the water heater, put the install date, uh, get three screws in the draft diverter connecting to the tank itself, and that is pretty much uh, a wrap. We've got the pressure back down to 68 PSI, and we're all set.